Hey guys, did you hear about the football match being cancelled? Just saw the Prime Minister on the telly talking about some like particles or pollution or something being flown over from somewhere else in the wind or ugh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm kind of pissed off, but if we get time off school, I guess that's all right. Well, hello. Get this. Turns out my neighbour Barbara was right. Turned on the news, you know. There's this report that's come through. It's on the radio as well. So it must be bona fide. They're saying there's that the, this storm's whipped up in the Atlantic, and it, what it's done, it's it's caused this gas, like gas pollution coming from the clouds. And get this, the symptoms: itchy eyes, tick, itchy skin, tick, and then eventually, the symptoms apparently are meant to get worse and worse. They can end up getting embedded into the lungs and I've got to say I am a little bit breathless today eyes are a little bit puffy but it is a bit worrying Barbara's got a theory she reckons it's just the government scaremongering you know take our minds off the whole blooming Brexit debacle mind you she has got a point Norman stop scratching love <sighs> stop's driving me nuts I've got to go okay I'll see you tomorrow Hi Watchers and welcome to another episode of Ashley Watch. What we thought was possibly like extended hay fever symptoms are actually not that at all and there's actually something in the air that's making people sick. So I've been to the supermarket and I got myself loads of supplies and I've also been online and ordered loads of stuff from there so I'm ready to go, ready for an inevitable lockdown. That does actually create a problem in itself because obviously it is something that humans can get and then if they start touching stuff around your house then you could end up touching it and getting it too. I've prepared like a safety thing that I can do. I'm going to go out and wait for my delivery driver. You guys have seen him before. His name's Adam and he's like he's really cute but he's not very bright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare myself and then I'm going to wait outside for him and like instruct him on what he needs to do. And if you can hear that wind. Uh... Sorry, it would help if I took my hand off the, the lens, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, you can the wind and just, can you see that tree? That storm is definitely on its way. Oh, and it started raining. Okay, I'm gonna go back in now. See you later. So, I get back from my walk and I find this waiting for me. It was only a matter of time. It's been six months since he went. So, I guess it's time to lawyer up. Um, I mean, I knew there was somebody else but I kind of feel like a bit f freer I remember back at the very beginning I just I was just completely lost but uh, it didn't take me long to realize that you know what, actually he's done me a favor I am worried did he see my little video about you know mentioning Bob a couple of days ago I mean I know it, I know it's I, I know it's paranoid but you know I wouldn't put it past him yeah, I, I guess I was a, a disappointment. Start hitting the phones, I suppose. Yeah, okay. Have you heard the news? The fake, fake news. I'll go back a bit, all right? That storm that was forecast never came. What did happen though is it happened out at sea, out towards America, that's where it happened. When I read this, I could not believe it, all right? Those climate change whack jobs have not only gone out there and said this storm out because of climate change they, they say it's created something in disease right and i've never been in a storm at sea i don't know if you have have you ever been in a storm at sea if you have comment awful it can't be fun being in a storm at sea if you're in a boat in a storm at sea they're pretty bad have you ever seen a perfect storm with george clooney i wouldn't want to be in that but what doesn't happen is that those storms out at sea they don't behave like scientists in a science lab and go oh let's create a new disease and throw it at great britain what? Where are those lefties' heads at? Here's a little truth bomb. Boom! Storms don't create diseases. 
<laughs> what the hell? What next? If you are, if you are watching this and you're like, no, really? No, I believe it. Put a comment, all right? Put a comment in there if you say, actually, I do believe it. It's possible. Tell me why. And prove it. Because at the moment, there, is, there can be no proof for such absolute twaddle. It's the fakest of fake. Don't believe it. Don't believe the rubbish out there. Don't believe those loony, lefty, liberal loons. So enjoy the sunshine. I'm going to lie back. And I oh, am going to enjoy the beautiful sunshine. See you later, bomb fans. Hey, boom. Okay, then I'm off. <laughs> See you later, kid. Dad? Do you have to go to work today? It's just that your job is so dangerous. Police get killed every day. You hear it on the news. I don't want to be an orphan. Well, that's why you've got to be brave. Yeah, I'm brave. Of course I am, but in a different way. Your job is just as important. Hey guys, Mario here for my second video and today we're going to be speaking about acting and I'm going to be giving you all my tips and tricks on how to act like a superstar. So um, the first technique is going to be soap acting and then we'll do film acting and you can see for yourself what the difference is. Soap acting is very blinky and twitchy and movie acting is very still. Let's do a really quick improv scene, let's make one up on the spot. Um, Mario! Your hamster's just died. Oh my god, how sad. Look, it's just died, your hamster. What? Die? No, he, he can't be done because he was... No. You, you must have killed him. And see? Very blinky, very twitchy. Now we'll do movie acting. Oh my god, Mario, your hamster's just died. What a tragedy. Oh. Oh, how sad. I wonder how it happened. <laughs> Big, 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 big difference. In film acting, they barely release the emotion. They just say words and don't move their face. In soap acting, it's the complete opposite. And I hope that was useful to you guys. And I'll see you next week. Mario signing out. Okay, guys, as you can see, I'm all ready to go outside now. I'll just give you a full body kind of shot. Um, so as you can see, I'm completely covered. I've got one of these masks on. Like I did look online, they do have some like medical ones on there, but they look kind of super medical. They're not very cute, so I actually made my own. Now, because it's in the air as well, all it could do is it could get into your eyes. So technically you should wear goggles when you go out. But I actually wear contact lenses, so my eyes will be protected. So Adam's actually coming now to deliver my stuff, so I'm gonna go outside and wait for him. There's Adam now. Adam, don't touch the car. What? Uh, don't touch the car, because I've just washed it, and if you touch it, I'm gonna have to wash it again. So if you could not touch the car. Or the fence. Don't, don't, don't touch the fence walk on the paving slabs and not on the stones because I can like clean those afterwards. Okay and when you're coming up the stairs don't touch the banister Adam. And just stop there like if you could just you could just leave the package there because you shouldn't get too close to me. I think he's gonna fit on the step I just fall off. All right then uh come all the way up but just don't breathe out. What? All right just put it just put it there Adam. Alright, thank you. Alright, cheers, love. No, don't worry about Adam! Okay, guys, so that's how you should be dealing with all of your deliveries when they come in. Make sure you do that, like, every single time. Uh, that's it from me today. So, as always, stay safe, stay vigilant, and peace out.